Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, just here to show a product that I uh, carry in my bug out bag. People have been uh, asking me what I carry in my bag and uh, rather than show my bag right out and take an hour to explain everything, I'm going to try and show videos of why I use certain tools that I feel are very important. This happens to be the K-Bar Cutlass. I absolutely love it. I've owned them for quite a long time now. Um, it is tried and true quality and for me, bang for the buck probably one of the best tools I own, period. Uh, it is a fantastic piece of gear for me and what I need it to do. Uh, the reason why I own it over the Ontario is because of the handle. The Ontario is better steel and a little thicker blade. If that's what you enjoy, I recommend you check out the Ontario. If it feels good in your hand, go for it. Wonderful product. Um, but uh, for me, uh, the cutlass feels better in my hand. That's why I prefer the cutlass. Now this one is new. My other one was commandeered as many of my tools are. Uh, many of you fathers know that. Our tools get commandeered and we'll be lucky if we ever get them back. So, uh, But I happened to see this one online and it was cheap and I ordered it. And so my other one got commandeered. So you're getting to see a brand new K-Bar cutlass out of the box. And it comes with a decent edge as well. Blades are like music. It's what feels good in your hand, folks. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just showing what I use and why I use it. Now, if you notice the taper on this, taper is very important in a wood processing machete. Okay? One is the thickness of the blade for weight for processing wood, but also the taper. You don't want the taper too low, and you don't want the taper too high. By having a taper too low, you don't get a lot of penetration. By having the taper too high, you have a very weak blade. I feel the cutlass has been perfectly engineered for processing. That's just my feeling, and I love this product, folks. Most of all, like music, it's just sweet in my hand. So it is my music, okay, to my hand. Anyway, uh, I wanted to compare that to a lower grade uh, manufacturer and show you why cheaper is not always better okay if you'll notice um, how thin that steel is compared to the k-bar cutlass okay while this is you know this manufacturer is a decent product um, I wouldn't rest my life on it for sure uh, in the field but it is a decent product this is also a different style blade it's a Kakuri um, so uh, machetes have lots of different styles too folks so know that um, but definitely would not carry this for my survival situation uh, so cheaper is not always better but again bang for the buck the k-bar again I think it's one of the best tools I own and it's moderately priced at around 50 bucks and the uh, Ontario which is a little better steel and a little uh, heavier is only about ninety dollars so either way you can't go wrong in my opinion but I just prefer the feel of the k-bar it's the music to my hand and again it's like purchasing handguns just because someone says the Glock is the best if the Glock doesn't feel right in your hand I would recommend getting what something else and that's what I try and share with people tools uh, require a good feel and that builds confidence when you work well with it and it feels good to you you will get work done better and feel more confident and that's what I think is important about tools that's why I own the K-Bar Cutlass it is what feels right to me and I absolutely love it enjoy it K-Bar has a long-standing tradition of quality um, and that's another reason why I own K-Bar products um, I just really enjoy them and it's a decent edge out of the box uh, let me quickly go over the sheath. Um, the back side that's going to be against you is, um, is uh, oh, that's the wrong one. That's the cheaper Kakuri sheath. Uh, let me find K-Bar sheath. Okay, K-Bar sheath is all leather on the back that's going to be touching you. Uh, you can see it's very well put together. Okay, that's almost boot stitching in there. You can see the thickness of the leather. Maybe you can't see how thick that leather is. This thing is not going to wear out. You'll get uh, years of use out of it, out of the field. Um, good snaps, good product. Uh, the blade slides in and out pretty well. You only need to release the top snap, which is nice. You don't need to release both. I would suggest adding some other tools uh, down here, which makes it real easy because it's nylon. Um, you can add other uh, small pouches 
uh, to add, you know, fire starter or whatever, uh, a working blade or whatever you would like, uh, you know, your survival knife, whatever. Uh, eat, you know, a uh, multi-tool or something of that nature. But the sheath is decent quality too. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, and again, blades are like music. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just showing what I carry and why I carry it so that I don't have to make an hour and a half long video on my bug out bag. Uh, experience, strength, and hope. Jim out.